Hey friends, this is Stacy, the Teen Services Library Assistant at the Gosstown Public Library, and you are tuning in to Let's Create Teen DIY. So this month we are going to make mini cereal box notebooks, and the supplies needed for this craft can easily be found around your home. All right, if you are a teen patron of the Gosstown Public Library, I hope you picked up your teen to go bag that has the major supplies and directions for this craft. If you are watching this outside of the Gosstown, New Hampshire area, or you weren't able to pick up a teen to go bag, that's okay. I'll go over the supplies that are needed. And like I said, they can easily be found around your home. All right, let's not waste any time. Let's create. Okay, so when you open your teen to go bag, here's what you're gonna find inside. You're gonna have a piece of a cereal box cardboard. You're gonna have some decorative paper, eight sheets of white paper, a colored brad fastener, some string, and some beads. Now, some things you might need from home are a stapler, a pushpin, glue stick, and scissors. So let's move everything aside. We're gonna start with the cardboard cereal box. So place your piece of cereal box cardboard on the table with the colored, that illustrated side down. We're gonna use our pushpin to make a small hole on the right side of the cardboard piece, right here, somewhere in the center. This is where we're gonna put our brad fastener. So just make a small hole in there. That will just make it easier for you to put the fastener through. So grab your brad fastener and go ahead and put it through that hole you just made. And secure it on the other side. Okay, so now we're going to make our center seam our fold. So go ahead and fold. This is the front cover, back cover, and this is the inside of your mini cereal box notebook. So let's go ahead and unfold it now, keeping the colored side up. We're gonna get our stack of paper. We're gonna put it in the center here. If you notice, my white paper is a little bit too long. You don't want it to be the exact same size as your cover. So we're gonna trim it a little bit with our scissors. That looks better. Now, using our stapler, kind of have that seam there. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna secure our paper inside. There we go. it's time to decorate our cover. So using the enclosed decorative paper, you can glue one large sheet over the cardboard, you can trim the sheet smaller, leaving a little bit of the cardboard exposed, or you can cut out shapes from the decorative sheet to glue onto the cardboard. So in my case, I'm actually going to leave a bit of my cardboard exposed. So, I think starting here, I need to trim a little bit. So I will cut this here. And my sheet was actually a little bit too long for my cardboard too, so I'm just gonna trim the bottom a little bit as well. Another fun thing you could do, and actually, I've changed my mind. I think I'm gonna do this now. I'm gonna add this little piece as well. Okay. A little bit more trimming.
and just glue your pieces down. Okay, now that my mini cereal box notebook is decorated, we need to find a way to keep it closed because as you can see, it wants to keep popping open. So that's where our string comes in. You're gonna secure one end of your string underneath your brad fastener. So I'm gonna make a small knot here, loop under my fastener, and, and just to make sure it stays, let's go ahead and make one more knot. I have glue on my hands and they're a little sticky. There we go. All right, perfect. We'll trim everything up later. The next step would be to take this and wrap it around the back of our notebook and then bring it to the front. Okay, that keeps it closed for us. So now we can add our beads. The first bead we're going to string on. The second bead we're going to tie. We're gonna string it on first, but then tie it there. This will make sure that our other bead does not fall off. And again, I'm gonna knot it to make sure that it stays in place. Now, we just need to trim the tails off of our string. So there. There is our book. And you can also, if it's not staying closed tight enough for you, you can even, depending on how much string you have, loop it around one more time and it will close. Now you may also find that there are a couple of other things that were inside your bag, like some stickers, a pencil, and an eraser. And there you go. The mini cereal box notebook, nice and easy. So that is it for our craft today. How fun and how simple to make these mini cereal box notebooks. If you enjoyed this craft, let me know by liking this video. And of course, if you want to be the first to know about the great content the Gostown Public Library puts up on their YouTube channel, then you have to subscribe. So that is it for this month. Join me back here again next month for another Let's Create Teen DIY. Bye.